Hey everybody, Quidge Gaming here. We're about to check out the new mobile game. Uh, wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Gundam Battle Gunpla Warfare. This is the new Bandai Namco uh, game. This just released on mobile about a month ago now, so I've had plenty of time to play it. It's been excellent so far. Uh, we're going to dive right in and check out some of the gameplay and some of the things that you can do in the game right now. Um, one of my biggest complaints, as you can tell, and you will notice soon, uh, loading times are kind of annoying. This has gotten better over the course of the month, but for now it's kind of annoying. Um, anyways, so we're at my desk, we're about to jump into some event battles. Uh, the first video you're going to see here, um, this clip is going to be me uh, with a loadout of three suits. We're going to do, I think, the hardest one, Unseen Assault, yep. Okay. So I've got three suits there. You can pick the three suits you want, build them the way you want. Uh, you're going to see right now I have the Wing Gundam. I think I have the Rising Gundam there. And I have a HodgePodge. That's my main guy. That's the most powerful. So I'm just sorting them by combat power. And I'm going to be using the guy with the P next to his name. Um, and we're going to jump in with the Relief Gunpla as well. These are made up of friends that you just make uh, throughout the game or strangers. And you can auto play or you can turn that off or on um, if you're a bit lazy or you know you just can't be bothered to play the game that you're about to play um, anyways yeah so we're about to see that's my suit right there that's what I'm gonna use during the match um, it's a mix it's got I think the green astray frame head um, and I have the Barbados lupus uh, body and other parts like that anyways so you jump into the game right now uh, this is the hardest level difficulty. This is for a certain level combat power. Um, if you're strong enough, you can totally take this on no problem. And um, that's one of the biggest problems that I have with this game. Um, it can get a little bit too easy too fast. So with the way you level up, you're just using energy, just like most free to play games on your mobile. Um, you save up energy, you use up the energy, They uh, it, it builds up over the course of the day and then you use that as cause for whatever you're going to play like any match so that builds up really quick you level up really fast and then the game gets super easy so yeah anyways this is me about to fight that boss pretty simple just kind of coasting here and yeah that's one of my super moves and that's about it. So that's one match. They go pretty quick depending on how strong you are. Um, and you can say I got some uh, experience, some money, and some coins. Uh, each part that I own leveled up. I'm just going to jump in and play one more match. So uh, now we'll just go over some of the things you can see on the HUD. So as you can tell, this is not a horizontal um, oriented game. It's vertical, which is kind of weird and I actually don't like it so much. Uh, it's in theory supposed to be one-handed mode, but honestly it's with the amount of buttons you have. You can have um, on the bottom left side you've got the guard button, you've got shooting on the bottom left hand side, you've got the go button or the stay button, so if you press go you're just automatically going to move to the next targeted guy, uh, and then the stay button just you no longer move and you can just plant your feet and just start shooting or do whatever you want. Um, in the center, you can see three buttons. Those are your super moves, and each of those, well, they're EX skills, they're called. I'm just going to use my own terminology here. Uh, but the EX skills, basically, uh, these ones come from the different parts that you equip, and then uh, you use them throughout the match, and they have a uh, basically like a reload time or recharge time. So. Yeah, I just used a couple of them there. Uh, one thing you'll notice in terms of glitches, there's no more music right now, and that shouldn't be happening. Uh, there should be music playing the entire way, but sometimes it just cuts out, and then all you get is sound effects. It's kind of really annoying sometimes, but what are you going to do? Now the music's back. 
next we're gonna move on and then we're gonna see a few things that you can do around the app itself I'm just moving around the desk here. Uh, you can see painting, parts, photo studio, profile, the shop, um, and then you have the notification area, the collection area, the box art section, and of course the capsules and the shops and the Gunpla build part. So let's just go right into Gunpla build. So right now what I'm doing is I'm just going over the different parts on my current frame. Uh, so you choose whatever you want, you paint them in any way you want. Uh, I think my guy looks pretty cool, but whatever. <laughs> the purple color or pink color um, items are, I think, considered rare, or like the second rarest level. So it goes white, then green, then blue, then pink, then gold. So different items have different costs. You slap them all together and your cost has to be below a certain number. And this number is, uh, you get it based on whatever your level is. You can see the cost of this item is 40. And um, it also has an EX skill. That's the button you push in the center uh, in the matches that you saw. And uh, yeah, yeah, you just level them up. The good thing is that you can pick any, any piece you want um, and just level them up and then tune them up to basically um, get them into the next grade of rarity. So it goes from, you can see right here, uh, you can go from green to, per to blue, keep this item, and it's cool, because I know some mobile games you have to, you know, actually get a loot box and find a new rarity level, and you cannot jump between levels. So here we are, we're just gonna make a random suit. We're gonna do it according to look. So I'm going to make, what am I going to make? I don't remember. <laughs> I recorded this earlier on. So I'm going to pick this according to Gun Cannon. And I have, I think, all the pieces, or most of the pieces for Gun Cannon. Uh, I have since got them all. And yeah, so that's what my Gun Cannon will look like. And then I put together the other things that I want that I'm missing. Uh, so use a bit of a goof. And I don't know, what else am I going to do? So I'm going to sort now by uh, combat power. I'm going to just slap on everything that I could according to combat power. So you can see it's completely changed. And at the top, you can see what the number is. The higher the number, um, the stronger the gunpla is. Um, yeah, so there you go. Um, in addition to that, you can just clear them all out if you don't like it, and then start from scratch. Uh, now, those are my three suits. Those are my mains. Uh, notice that I'm not actually putting them in order from one, two, and three. That's There's a reason for that. Uh, I'll talk about that a bit later if I remember. Um, so here I am just painting the suit to my liking. I can choose each different part, um, different suit, you know, color schemes I've collected over the course of the game. This is kind of old footage, so I've collected a bit more since then. Um, and yeah, I'm just slapping together different colors, different pieces, whatever looks good. I think my guy looks pretty badass, but whatever. Yeah. So, the thing about the, um, the different suit numbers, so you, you can make, I think, a total of nine or ten different suits, and uh, my numbers were like suit one, I made one, suit three, I've made one, I think suit eight, I've made one. Um, there's a reason for that, because every loadout you do in the game, um, it increases the AI proficiency, and uh, eventually, if you have good AI proficiency, you can actually lower the cost of some of your uh, parts. So that's good news for you if you want something really really strong to go into a game and if you don't do that then you're going to have penalties because your cost is too high so rather than putting my my parts on a different gunpla frame like maybe frame two um, i'd have to go into more loadouts to increase the eye proficiency and that would just take too much time so here is my gundam wing uh wing gundam sorry and this is from a pre-registration release so uh, if you started the game like on the first day or so something like that you would totally get this and I think the regular Gund Gundam the original Gundam the RX 782 I believe um, yeah so that's my guy there's my painting and let's see what else we can do next so these are the EX skills you can choose. So every certain parts have EX skills and you can choose the one that you want and put them together. So you can 
only use three, but different items will have different uh, skills. So now that we've seen gun club build, we're gonna move over now, but <laughs> notice the load time that's going on right now. That's super, super long load time like I told you about. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. Um, sometimes the game will just hang and you can't do anything until that load, that little loading screen is gone, unfortunately. But um, this is something they can eventually improve and I'm actually confident they will do that. Uh, I'm not really too concerned. I mean, in the two weeks or so that I've recorded this, it's gotten a lot better. So uh, I highly encourage you to just download and check it out. Uh, so here we are, we're in the notification area. Um, now we're going to head over to the different achievements you can get. There are daily achievements, there are event achievements, and normal achievements. Basically just play the game, uh, the, do the different events that exist, and you're going to get lots of parts and lots of items and lots of money. Um, it's actually quite easy to get some of these, so just do your thing, don't really pay attention to them, and you'll get plenty of stuff. The cool thing as well is that if you notice the notification area has a picture of your cell phone, it shows you your time and battery power uh, inside of the app. So anyways, back into the uh, capsule section. This is basically the loot boxes of the game. Um, these ones, they're getting kind of complicated just because there are so many different parts, which is really actually very good. Um, but the thing is, there are so many parts, they're adding so many parts, and eventually the drop rate for these parts are going to be really terrible over the course of, um, I don't know, like three months or two, like four months of, of this game going on. So just imagine what it's going to be like soon. Um, anyways, this is my profile picture. Uh, I made that picture myself. You can see my ID up there. Uh, if you ever run into me in the game, my name is Quidge Gaming, so you, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, here you can see the collection box. So these are all the gun gunpla parts that I've collected the entire set of. Uh, this one uh, we were given just for logging into the game uh, early on. So this is uh, the Wing Gundam, like I mentioned. Uh, and then if you download that item, you can get a picture of the box art. So we're just going through here are a few more, but you can see I don't have many parts for all of these. I'm missing like a few heads. This is, I think, the uh, AU edition. Sorry, yeah, the AU edition of uh, Mark II Gundam. Um, and yeah, so everything with an exclamation mark has a thing you can download. So here we're going to claim a reward uh, because I have all of the Wing Gundam parts. And then once I do that, I now have the box art. So if you click view box part, there it is. So I actually have this in my house. I, I, I have this somewhere sitting in a shelf. Um, that's like the real grade uh, Wing Gundam. And yeah, so we're just going to go through and see what other ones I have. I have the Rising Gundam. I have all the sets there. Um, so this one looks pretty nice although the box art looks a little bit older it's one of the older types of box arts um, compared to the newer ones like you saw with the wing gundam and then we're gonna move over to um, uh, yeah just displaying what it looks like looks pretty nice different paint job might make it look even better then I think we're gonna go to Zeta Gundam and I have the GM3 completed which is surprising I forgot I had that but yeah, let's just download that and check out the box art. Neat. Cool. Amazing. Oh my god. This is so great. I think I'll just post another video of more gameplay uh, in the future, so just stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, this is basically all of the box art stuff. And you can see for the Gundam, uh, original Gundam series, I have a lot of suits already um, basically set up. I've got the GM, I've got the Zaka 2, I've got the regular Gundam, um, I have since got the gun cannon, gun tank, the GUF, uh, like a, plenty of them. Uh, so I might give you a, a, an update video down the road and then you can see all the different suits that I've got as well. Um, so here we go. Yeah. Uh, many people that were disappointed with New Gundam Breaker, like myself, I got kind of bored with that game really quick. Uh, this actually is much better in comparison. Uh, those of you that were uh, leave, left with like a bad taste in your mouth because of that game, you'll totally uh, enjoy this one. This one is kind of fast paced, it's good for mobile. Um, I think it would have been better if they did a 
a horizontal setup, but I can understand why they went for the vertical. The vertical kind of shows off the, the mobile suits a bit better than like a widescreen uh, 16 by 9 uh, setting. But still, I think in terms of actually gunplay battle, um, the, the fighting and the gameplay and the buttons. One thing is this, it's really hard to play this one-handed and I think they expect you to play it one-handed, but there are too many buttons to press at the same time, um, moving the Gundam and all that stuff to do that. So here on the profile you have uh, different titles you can pick. Again, with every achievement that you get, uh, some achievements will give you some different titles and depending on the difficulty of the achievement, the title will be harder. So this is the pink achievement, Shooter King, that means I've I forgot, I think I, I went out with the middle shooter for 70 or 100 times. Um, so here's all my stats so far, things have improved since then. Um, the arenas are currently down, they actually crashed the game or it was just too difficult on the servers. They were fun to begin with and you know, I think I did one-on-ones. Um, so basically, like I said, the game is asynchronous, you're never gonna play with a friend for now, um, but eventually, I mean, I hope that'll happen, but basically right now you're just on your own and you're not really going to do anything with anybody else. This is very much a single player game. Um, although you do make friends, you never interact with them, you never talk with them, it's, it's just they're there. So here is the parts section. We're just going to take a look at things you can do. Uh, as you can see, this is only about two or three weeks of gameplay and I have collected a significant number of parts. Um, and it's it, it's just... I mean, you start off with, I think, 200, like a box of 200, and if when you hit 200, you can use Harrow Chips, that's their um, in-game currency, to actually buy additional space. Um, and yeah, moving on, because <laughs> we're going over the friends, here are all the friends that I've made since the game began. Um, I will start to remove people if they do not uh, play for more than two days or so, because they're gun their gun plays get really weak and I need stronger relief players. Um, I was looking for player cards here to show off, but really the player cards were always empty. No one really made a picture like I made a picture, um, which is unfortunate, but what are you gonna do? Uh, they're not really that important. Uh, a lot of people are not uh, in North America, as you can tell, lots of different um, uh, Japanese characters there. Uh, I already made an achievement. Um, notif notices, now these notices are great because the devs have been working really hard to apologize for some of the errors and problems that the app has had so far. And when they do that, they shower you in Harrow Chips. So that's great for in-game currency. You can use it to um, uh, replace your energy, um, buy additional space on your Gunpla uh, box so you can hold more parts. Um, and just use them for loot boxes as well. So, I mean, I don't like loot boxes, but it's great that they give you hero chips that easily. Um, so this is the event that was going on uh, during that week. And if you have, uh, if you notice, I think this one is apologizing for something or other. I can't really read that. Uh, my screen's kind of small. Um, yeah, so they had to shut down the arena because the arena was was causing some trouble on the server so um it's only starting to open up as of now it's been open up for this this i think i think the 24th of august um i'm recording this on a monday morning so uh it's been open over the weekend or so and it's been pretty fun as usual but again you're playing by yourself so since uh this has happened it's kind of put a damper on the whole multiplayer aspect of it because there's also one-on-one -on -one and three versus three, um, but they never had the three versus three open. And now during their testing, the one versus one is open, but the three versus three isn't yet. So you don't have uh, you don't have team rollouts just yet. It would be nice to have, but just not quite. So that side of the desk is your box art um, poster section, and um, yeah. So now we're gonna move over from there over to the photo studio. So this is the stuff that I've made. Uh, you basically just take one of your gunpla, put it into a different pose, and then, uh, yeah, make it look stupid. <laughs> so mine look really similar to each other. Uh, same kind of nerdy stuff. You choose the, the gunpla that you like, and then you put it in, in the picture, and then we're gonna take, you know, uh, Wing Gundam here and give it an interesting pose. Um, yeah, that's 
that's kind of interesting, I guess. We can make it kind of more interesting if we actually twist it around, change the angle, uh, put his crotch right over Hero's head. Okay, perfect, perfect. Maybe if we rotate it a bit more so you get more crotch in the face. Uh, perfect, beautiful. Amazing. Okay, that is perfect teabagging. Up, oh, oh, okay, a bit higher. Nice. Now you have a different background to make the teabagging look even better. And... They all look kind of alike. Uh, those backgrounds are basically sepia tone or just dark. So they kind of suck. Um, and then you have that transition. So here I, I can put a little note. Um, I'm actually going to type in... Uh, you know, youtube.com slash uh on my main one, so you know that's me. And then you can Instagram it by just putting in a filter on top of all the other nonsense you could do to this picture, and there you go. Zithub. Yeah, and then you would take the picture if you want, but that's garbage, so I'm not going to take the picture. And yeah, so those are the different images I've made so far, and you put that as your profile pic, and you're good to go. So now we're going to head over to the... Where are we going now? I don't know. Loading, 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 loading. Oh my god. What is this loading? Okay, here we are. Back to the friends list. No, the button didn't work properly. So all that loading for nothing. So I just got my achievement here. I completed five collections of Gunpla parts, so I just got 10,000 bucks, which is nice. Um, I highly recommend, by the way, that you visit the shop every now and again. Um, here are Here's where you can recover your, your energy. You can use hero chips, or you can use some of those um, recovery uh, things of, I think, 10% or 50% or 100%. You get those as you play the game. Uh, those are the current prices for hero chips in Canada. I'm in Canada, so if you think 110 bucks for 11,000 chips is great, I'm, I mean, I guess so. Right now I have 7,600 chips without really spending much of anything, so you can tell that you really don't need to buy much in this game. It would also be nice if they put in some advertising, but they never did, so um, I think if I watched an ad or two just to get a few hero chips, it would be nice, but um, I, I wish they would put that into the game, like other games do as well, but uh, they didn't, so that that's just the way it is. So there are no ads that I can tell in this game, which is some people might like, some people may not like. Uh, you can see the different sections here. Now this is the story part of the game. Yes, there is a story in this game, and honestly, honestly, I hate this story. This story... Well, any any gun plus story. Well, oh my god. Listen for yourself. So basically, uh, all of these Gunpla stories, and it's like it takes place in a school. All the schools have some Gunpla uh, championships. You're gonna be the very best in the school, and it's such a serious, dramatic, nonsense thing. And then you have one girl that totally wants to bang you, and uh, it's just fulfilling this fantasy. And I, I really hate the story. I, I get it's ca it's campy, but I just can't stand going through it. Uh, if you want to play it, you can. The really weird thing is, is that you can never repeat the actual gameplay of the story mission. You can only play it once and it's done forever. You can only repeat the cinematic, which is strange, uh, frankly, but there are other gameplays here. You can see that these are the free missions that you can do every day. Um, you can play these indefinitely, as many as you like. Um, so, if I'm not mistaken, I mean, I didn't really put two and two together here, but maybe the story missions are the free missions, but I have no clue. Um, I never thought about it. Uh, the daily missions are good for nippers, so what you need uh, to upgrade a lot of your parts are uh, part-specific nippers, and these are items you can get in the daily missions here. So I highly recommend do the events every day as many as you can, do the nipper event as well, like the daily missions as, as often as you can, and um, you can if you do those three achievements for every mission, you can use skip tickets. So that's basically, you phone it in, you push a skip ticket, you just get the experience without actually playing the level. Um, 
you can use those if you want. Some, they're, they're helpful in a pinch if you have no time to play the game, but you have to get rid of your energy. Um, they're really good. Um, coin exchanges. So the platinum coins are if you trade in, if you sell parts you own. Um, this exchange is from, I think, one of the events or uh, the... the um, what was it? The arena events give you coins as well. So you basically want everything that's blue, pink, and green. Skip tickets you can buy, uh, nippers you can buy, um, the awakening uh, chips, you need those to upgrade from one level to the next, or tune up, sorry, tune up from one, one rarity level to the next rarity level so without those uh it's going to be slow going and you're 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 going to hit caps really quickly with this with your suits so bullseye coins uh those are from a certain event uh they changed coins per event so every event every event will have a new set of coins and you have i think a couple of days after the event to use up the coins that you have um, i've saved a few between events, hopefully that bullseye coins would return, but we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Um, you can see how much money I have there. I have a significant amount of money. I have double that now. Uh, I'm just buying some stuff in the store. I definitely recommend you go to the capital shop every day just to pick up the, I'm uh, sorry, not every day, every hour, because it changes every hour and you pick up all the nippers you can and all the skip tickets you can and the different parts that you want as well. Um, and by the way, the capsules, you have two free capsules every day and then you have 10 free friend capsules every day as well so um, there's stuff I didn't really cover in this video but that's most of it um, be sure to stick around I will post some more gameplay on here too I could probably do some live streaming of it too I think I, I, I think I've managed to learn how to do that so yeah thanks so much for watching and be sure to like subscribe comment blah 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 blah, blah etc talk to you later